Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today here with Heavy Metal, and here in front of me I have one of the coolest things I have ever seen in my life. A big shout out to Gun Prime for helping us find this thing. But what this is, is a Remington 700 CP, and this particular one is in 308. They make these in 223, 300 blackout, 308 like this one. And I think maybe one or two other calibers. You guys go check it out. But, like I said, Gun Prime helped me find this one. And this is one of the coolest, most ridiculous things I've ever seen in my life. So, starting at the back. Pistol grip. These have a really good trigger in them. I can't remember the name of the trigger off the top of my head. Has the rail on top. Has the uh, M-lock rail up front. Threaded barrel. That's super sweet. If we put a suppressor on that, this thing will be a blast. And for the 308 model, I think it's a 12 inch barrel and some change. So, and the mag, I think this mag holds five. Yeah, I think this is a, a 308 five, five round P mag coming with it. But, as you can imagine, all sorts of cool videos we're gonna be filming with this. This is the very first one that's we're gonna Take it out here, have some fun, see if we can make some fireballs and blow up some random cool stuff for y'all to check out. But if you never heard of it, this is the Remington 700 CP in 308. And it's a bolt action, if I didn't make that clear already. It's not a semi, it's a bolt action pistol. But yeah, comment down below anything you want to see us do with this. But we're going to load this up with bullets and start slinging them at some stuff out here at the range. Check it out. All right, so first, I'm gonna take a few shots and just kind of get a feel for it. I've got a big old Mondo scope on it. I just took this one off my 338 Lapua. So you can guarantee we're gonna try to do some long range stuff with this thing. Well, we're not gonna try it. We're gonna do it with my 338 Lapua scope. But first, let's see if we can just get a feel for it here. I'm gonna load it up with some of this bar and all steel case I got. And see if we can hit something with it fresh out of the box. Like I said, I think this is a five rounder. We're about to find out how many goes down in it. Three, assuming I can count, four. They need to put a big number on the side of it to tell you how many goes in it. Maybe they do, I just can't see it. There's five. Yep, five is all it's going to hold. So, let me, uh, I'm going to go up there, up here. There's a big yellow target right there at like 40 yards or so. Let's see if I can hit that just looking down that rail here. What do I need? I need ears and my eyes. I'm super excited if you can't tell. Like I said, this is one of the coolest things. I can't even get my ears on right. This is one of the coolest ones I ever put my hands on. But, here goes the, the five in there. That goes in there solid. Let's see what we can do out there. Y'all look for a fireball. It's probably going to have a pretty good fireball on it. Oh, yeah. I hit it. I don't know if y'all can see it shaking. I'll do... Uh, I'll do a couple more here, then we'll zoom in on the target. You can see if I'm hitting it or not. This fireball is just cool. Hit it again. Let me do one one-handed, see if I can hit it one-handed here. That's a little heavy there for one hand. Oh yeah, smacked it one-handed. I'm going to do that again. Last round, I'm going to zoom you guys in on that steel so you can see if I'm actually hitting something or not. Like I said, that's at 40 yards up there on the range. That one that already looks like some Swiss cheese there, see if I can smack it with that last round here. Here we go. I'm two-handing this one. Oh, 
Did I miss it? Paul says I missed it to the left. Hold on. I got to load another bullet. Pretend you didn't see that one. All right. Let's try it again here. There, we smacked it that time. But, like I said, I'm even more excited now that I've shot it than I was before I pulled the trigger on it. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Remington Model 700. Everything's real tight. It's not sloppy. The mag fits good. The bolt runs good. The mag fits good. Did I say that already? And it shoots some awesome fireballs. Fireballs are always cool. But, hey, let's set up some uh, targets up here. See if we can hit some more stuff with it. Check it out. Alright, now, I said we had some random stuff to shoot right up there. We got some kind of squash. I think this one's a spaghetti squash. Let's see if I can hit it with this fire breather here real quick. I sure hope I can. That wasn't very exciting. It went right through it. We hit it again. Might as well. Went right through it. Let me load up something else. Maybe the slow motion to be more exciting. Alright. This one right here is called a... This is the spaghetti squash. That was a butternut squash. See if this one explodes any better. Well, I hit that one square down the middle. It blew the back out. Maybe the slow-mo will be better. Let's try a cantaloupe. I think a cantaloupe's got more water in it. That might help it explode a little bit better. See what happens with that. Cantaloupe. Still got bullets left. Well, let me hit that one with another one. That one did a little bit better. Well, we got another surprise for you. Let me go load up something else. We got a pumpkin up there, right there. We got to have a couple different camera angles so you can get a real good look. But from this angle, I'm aiming at that pumpkin about 20 yards away. Paul loaded this mag up, so if I miss, it's because he put those crooked bullets in there. But 20 yards with no uh, no scope. Let's see if I can make something happen here. Ready? Ready. Well, I, I skimmed the left side of it. That one was high. I'm going to blame that one on my glasses fogging up. Well, that was low. I need some more bullets. All right, five more tries on that pumpkin. Let's see what happens.
That's what was supposed to happen the first shot. I have some tannerite hidden down inside the pumpkin, but pumpkin's gone now. I still got one more shot. We might as well get a good fireball out of it. Yeah, but hey, that pumpkin's gone and we exploded it real good. Well, I don't know about you guys, but for me, that was a whole lot of fun. We were supposed to hit that, I say we, I was supposed to hit that ten right inside that pumpkin on the first shot, but I think it took me nine tries or something. But, hey, we got it to go there in the end. Hopefully we got some good pumpkin blowing up footage. But, hey, I love this thing even more than I did before I shot it. Thing's just cool. That's a whole lot of fun. Shoot some real good fireballs. And this is not a chintzy little setup has a nice trigger like i said it all fits together real well stay tuned for more videos where i'm gonna put that long range scope on this rail and see what we can do with it but appreciate y'all as always a big shout out to the heavy metal channel y'all go down below and check out their channel again a big thanks and a big shout out to gun prime for helping us find this thing these are not that easy to find but we'll see y'all in the next one Hoo -hoo.